Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you ever forget to eat? I know that sounds like a ridiculous question, but my mom used to forget to eat. And then she'd be late in the day and she'd go, why do I have a headache? Oh, because I didn't eat anything. And then she would eat candy because she had a sweet tooth that wouldn't quit. Um, see, I never forget to eat. I mean, uh, I plan my life around meals. If we're leaving town, you know, we've, one of the first conversations is, hey, where are we going to eat when we get there? And, and so uh, the words of Jesus in Matthew 6, uh, 16 through 18, challenge us because we love food and we really don't like what Jesus says. So uh, listen to what he says. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Now, just a couple of things. If you don't know what fasting is, it means that you don't eat. You go without food, uh, and you do it as a spiritual discipline. And, and that's the first thing I'd tell you about fasting. Fasting is a spiritual discipline that is like prayer and giving. It's something that Jesus expects us to do. Notice he says, when you fast, not if you fast. And, and I say that because I was raised in a church that said, oh, we don't have to fast. That's an Old Testament thing. And I'm like, no, when I read the Bible, it's Jesus saying, when you fast. He's talking to his disciples. So when we fast, it, it's for a purpose. So uh, it's for God's people. And, uh, and, and he tells us this. He says, first of all, when you do it, don't draw attention to yourself. Don't use it to try and look holy or spiritual in front of other people. That's what the Pharisees did. He calls them hypocrites because they, they gave money publicly so people could laud them for their generosity. They prayed publicly so people would know how spiritual they were. And when they fasted, they made themselves look like they were suffering uh, because they were going on and on about how spiritual they were. And Jesus says, no, this is between you and God. You need to go ahead and do this secretly so nobody really knows. Just like you give secretly and you pray secretly, you fast secretly. And, and then some of you are probably going, well, what's the point of fasting? What does it gain for us? What does it do for us? And, and I kind of think fasting is about two things. First of all, it is physical prayer. You know, fasting and prayer kind of go hand in hand. And uh, fasting is, is a physical way of saying, God, I'm serious about this. I'd really like you to hear this prayer. Uh, I'm bringing it to you and I'm, and I'm laying aside even the natural desires of food because you're more important. So it's, it's kind of a way of saying, God, I'm really serious about this issue. I'd really like an answer. Uh, now, you can't manipulate God, you can't control God, so don't think that by fasting you're going to get an answer that God said no to otherwise. And then the second reason that we should fast is because it is practicing discipline over our bodies. It, it is a way of saying, God, I care about you more than food which you created me to need. And, and so by fasting, by denying ourselves you know, physically the food that we want, uh, what we're saying is, God, I can say no to the natural physical needs that you built into me uh, by my own choice. And you know what that is? That's practicing self-control because at some point you're going to be tempted to sin. Some of those temptations are going to be physical in nature. You need to be practiced at saying no to the physical desires that your body wants, like food. Uh, some of those temptations are going to be spiritual in nature. And by fasting, you've already said, hey, God, I can lay aside the, the needs of this world so I can focus on you. And it prepares us to fight against those temptations that come our way. Uh, if you struggle with uh, overcoming a recurring temptation in your life, recurring sin in your life, then maybe you should try fasting and say, God, I want to overcome this. And this is the way I'm going to practice doing that. So... Uh, can I just encourage you to maybe one day this week try fasting? It doesn't have to be for a whole day. It doesn't have to be for a whole week. But maybe skip one meal and say, God, instead of eating this meal, I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to pray to you and see what God does, see what God shows you. And, uh, and if he does something unusual or different, uh, let us know. Just comment on this or email us and tell us how God is teaching you uh, about fasting. God bless, and I hope that helps.